Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to revisit Pointlessness by Hugo B. Designer. Cause, uh, as you will see, when we walk in here, there is apparently a cess chamber, which I did not even notice was different from the one that we end up walking into here. I thought that we were just in a glass area, like, up there somewhere, and that we were looking into both sides of the test chamber from above. But no, this is a completely unrelated area that apparently there's a secret way to get to, so we're gonna try and investigate that in this video. Apparently this is supposed to be much harder than the, the normal quote-unquote puzzle. Oh, what the? Was that just on a timer? Did you just have to wait a certain amount of time and it does that? I thought you had to complete the map and then do something. Okay. <laughs> what- what triggered that? Because I was about to walk through the portal and go to the rest of the normal map. Alright, well, we're here now. <laughs> wow. Was not expecting that, Hugo. <laughs> let's see. So first of all, let's- let's see what's in here. A couple cubes, perhaps? A button. Oh, that's weird looking. Come here, laser cube. Let's get you out of here. And then, what can we do? Where can we point it that would make any sense? I guess we can point it. uh. here? There we go. Man, it feels like I'm playing one of the Talos maps again. Okay, and then we get a, this laser cube. Let's go ahead and save at this point. And now we've got this guy. Would we have to... Would we have to totem? To reach that? Perhaps. Alright, let's totem this thing. And we'll get this guy. Put, um... Not high enough. Alright. Oh, that might, uh, hmm. What if... Let me move the totem over here. Oh, what the? That's right, this has a slight angle to it, doesn't it? But I don't think that's at all the intended- <laughs> Oh, there's this bug again. Look at that. Wait, what is burning me here? Normally, if you- normally it only burns where it actually starts. Apparently the laser is actually there, though, because it's burning me, but yeah, when I've gotten that bug other times, it doesn't burn you unless you're actually intersecting with the visible laser. Alright, well, for now, let's, let's just totem this thing. The way I was trying to do it originally. Alright, let's go get the other one. Come on. Uh, am I pressing- I'm pressing 3 instead of E. <laughs> Alright, so now... Still not- huh? What about that? And still not quite high enough. Really? Okay, I think I see what I need to do instead, and it does not involve totamine. Alright, let's face this way, and this way. Alright, so now we've done that, right? Now we're gonna make this angle work, though. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be a good angle. 
or anybody. Huh. Okay, well, hang on, how much of an angle was this? I need to make it more to the left, kinda. Let's, uh, let's go work on that. How about that? Will that work? Save. Oh, oh. Hey! Did it. Okay, so now we have three. Now what? <laughs> Guess technically... Wait, what is this for? Hugo! Did I break your map already? Oh, come on, let me up these stairs, please. That one, that one's pretty simple to get. I can just do, uh, yeah, I can just do this. I'm already done. Yeah, look at that. Hugo! How come I didn't need to use that? <laughs> I probably broke it, somehow. Alright, let's get going. Ah, and this is the actual map here. So, while we're here, we might as well just go ahead and solve it. Director Ox and I both find this quite unusual that this even works at all. I guess because of portal bumping. I guess whatever logic the game uses to have the player fire a portal, it can reuse it when- when placing a scripted portal. So that's cool. Alright, so, first things first... If I can remember correctly, we go here. There's this guy. We don't do things the knock way. <laughs> Knock's video was hilarious to watch, by the way. And, uh, let's see... So we do this... And, uh, oh, right, the cube will come up to us. Come to me, cube. Thank you. We put the cube on the button, and we go back through. And we can get this. Oh, I almost fizzled the cube, don't want to do that. Alright, then, we're pretty much, for the most part, done. In fact, I think I can just recall this cube. <laughs> I tried to pull a Rector Rocks, just to Rector Rocks, and I actually fizzled the cube as a result. I was trying to speed up dropping the cube. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's see. All we gotta do, if I remember correctly, just angling lasers. Right? Yeah. Alright. Whoa, come on. Then how about... How about we use the floating cube glitch, cause why not? Yeah, cause that doesn't affect it. Let's see if we can avoid using that at all. Actually, do we need both? I can't remember. Let's just put this here. Let's see if we can do it with the floating cube glitch. Looks like we probably can. Come to me. We are floating our cube to. Okay then. Never mind. Cannot do that. Alright, so now we need to get the companion cube back. <laughs> Actually, we can just do this. 
Floating cube glitch does not apply to this map, apparently. Hugo is smart. Alright, so let's put this- let's put this back how it was. There we go. Oh wait, now we need to do this. Get the regular cube, and we can take the regular cube upstairs. Come to me, and we are done. After I place the portal, that is. There we go. Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video that look like these right here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!